Hey everyone, this is Mihail and today I will be showing you a website I built in Django which finds the best phone for you. The website expands on an idea I had when I first developed a mobile comparison website in PHP. In the comments section you will find a link to another video I made which talks about this website in more detail. What I didn't like about it was the fact that I had to first come up with two mobile phones that I was interested in. The website would not help me narrow down the multitude of choices that are out there from iPhone 8 to Honor 9 and On Plus 5. I've kind of addressed the issue in this Django project. So let me show you how it works. The website is incredibly simple and fast. The user is asked three questions and then the recommendation algorithm kicks in. The first question checks your budget for a SIM-free phone in pounds. I'll go for 700. Question number two asks what you will mostly be using your phone for, whether it's taking photos or videos, playing videos or music, communicating or gaming. You can have multiple options selected. I'll choose communicating and playing videos or music. The final question allows you to filter the results by a number of features such as dual SIM or water and dust resistance. I'll go for a 2017 phone which has fast charge functionality. And there you have it. The website ranks the five best phones for you based on your answers. You can see the price of the phone, its rating by phone experts, and an easy to understand comparison of the selected or active phone against the other four. For example, the HTC U11 is better for communicating and taking photos or videos compared to the Samsung Galaxy S8 but worse for playing musical videos as well as gaming. If I now click on another row in the table, say that of Google Pixel 2, this will become the active phone and the pros and cons columns will update accordingly. I can see, for instance, that the LG V30 is better for playing music or videos compared to the Google Pixel 2. But more expensive, worse for communicating, worse for taking photos or videos, and worse for gaming. When you click on the buy button, the website will direct you to a vendor that sells this phone for the listed price. We also have three buttons on the left hand side of the screen. These buttons enable you to change your answers to any of the three questions asked at the beginning. So say if I want to have a higher budget, you click on price, switch it to maybe 900, and voila, my results have been updated. I said that the website kind of helps you narrow down on the phones you should buy. I'm putting emphasis on this because the universe of phones is actually static. I have about 35 phones for which I enter the data manually in an Excel file. I came up with a fairly sophisticated methodology of scoring these phones by the four main attributes provided in the second question. Taking photos or videos, playing videos or music, communicating, and gaming. For example, the gaming attribute takes into consideration the phone's Basemark OS2 score, amongst many other factors. This is basically a test which measures the performance of smartphones and tablets. I then converted the Excel file into the CSV format and uploaded it into my website's SQLite database. The final piece is the feedback button, 
which, as expected, will send you to a page that has a form with your name, email and feedback. Let's test it by saying that my name is Alfonso and my email is alfonso at hotring.com Apologies for my horrible puns. My feedback is that this website is gorgeous. And that's it. I can now go back to the questionnaire by clicking on this button here. Alright, that's all folks. In the comments section, you'll find a link to a GitHub page which stores all of the code we used to build this website. However, I have decided to exclude the SQLite database which holds the data on the phones. I'm pretty proud of the algorithms I built to score my phones based on the phone features and I don't want to share it for the time being. Nevertheless, you can figure out the structure of the database by looking at the models.py file located in the phones folder. So thanks very much for watching this video and hope to see you again.